Standing at the entrance of the pen relays, the main gate, the new main gate for the entrance of the University of Pennsylvania. And if you look in the background, ladies and gentlemen, tons of fans, scores of fans coming in. At 1.30 today, Saturday, Usain Lightning Bolt will be on the track. And that is something that you don't want to miss. shy person and doing a lot of talking and going out has actually helped me and recently I think one of the partnerships that Grace has helped me to form is the PALS, the Peace and Loving Society and I was really really honored to that because children is a major major part of my life because that's where I really want to focus on. So the, the relationship I have with Grace Kennedy is not only monetary but it also has to do with just bringing up me, myself and as a, a role model and a woman um, trying to, to instill in me certain values and morals and discipline and just a whole life change and I do thank them for that separate and apart from the other thing. What does that mean? Chances are Usain Bolt gets the stick, he will get it and he will be behind as he flashes his trademark lightning bolt pose and this crowd responds. And a fair start in this 4 by 100 meter relay as everyone comes to their feet. And Walter Dix doing his job, but very, very even now between Jamaica and the U.S. And fair exchanges all the way around as the United States is rolling well along with Jamaica. And Jamaica gold in a good position here. USA Red is out as Jamaica continues to press the lead with the USA right there. And as promised, here's Bolt, and he has a deficit. Usain Bolt to the roar of the crowd, now takes the lead. Bolt approaching the line. Jamaica wins! 37-91 is a new Penn Relays record. Usain Bolt came and he delivered. This week on Caribbean Lifestyle TV, we are talking track and field. We're talking politics. Who knows? We may talk some sports. I'm standing midfield here at the 116th running of the Pen Relays with Jamaica's Ambassador, Mr. Anthony Johnson. Welcome to Caribbean Lifestyle TV again, sir. How you doing? Always my pleasure to be with you, sir. Now, you're 6'4, I'm 6'4. Another 6'4 or 6'5 man just ran. You saying lightning bolt, and we all witness it. The pen relays record is gone. Let's talk a little bit of sports first before we talk politics. Your thoughts? Well, it was my pleasure to see the first time that any human being has run eight, seven, eight. <laughs> he, he broke the nine second barrier, albeit it was on a relay leg, and so it doesn't stand as a world record but it is a tremendous achievement Don't because it shows it. that it can be done. Uh, so that will next be the next sort of barrier. It has already been announced that uh, he seems to be the first person who would have the capacity to go below nine. Well, he did that today and you and I saw it. Definitely, we, we were a witness to that. Now, Mr. Johnson, there, there are gonna be some changes in Washington real soon. You're still Jamaica's ambassador. Now, uh, the change is coming in Washington. What in Washington, do you care to talk about that? Well, the, I, I, on the 3rd of May, um, I demit office as ambassador to the United States and prominent representative to the OAS. And I returned to Kingston for consultations and before the end of May, I will be in London, uh, I, and I've been invited to join the Court of St. James. That's now, the term. You know, Ambassador, every time we see you here at Pen Relays, you're always having a good time. Uh, your time spent in Washington. Next race. What was it like? Olympic development wins. Very, very interesting. I mean, the 
Jamaica and the United States are intertwined in so many different areas, indeed in all areas of uh, political, uh, economic, uh, social life, uh, that it, uh, it is um, impossible to disentangle them. So I have been involved in a lot of them. I wouldn't say all because mm -hmm. it's, it's so, you know, multifaceted. Now, you know, uh, Ambassador, in your tenor as ambassador to the U.S., we have witnessed uh, the first African-American become president of this great country. And I'm sure you were there at his inauguration. And, and, and I'm sure that it's something that you'll take for the rest of your life with you. Now, if I could talk, if I could speak on behalf of the entire team at Caribbean Lifestyle TV, we'd like to say to you, sir, thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you very much for representing Jamaica in the manner in which you do. What next? What is the next stop for Mr. Johnson? I, I, you mentioned you're going to England. Uh, what is that stop all about? Well, I will be the High Commissioner to Britain. Um, I will also be the ambassador to Ireland, uh, Portugal, Finland and some other countries. So I have a, a very heavy plate. Now, for all those folks who missed this pen release and miss what we saw on the Team field Jamaica today, the, like the, the, the eight seconds run by you, Usain Bolt, what, what would you tell them? If you, have, if you had a few words to leave them with, what would those few words be? Well, I tell you, this place holds over 60,000. There are probably 70,000 people which is one of the largest crowds that you will see at any event anywhere in the world. And the interesting thing is, when I came two years ago, there were some stands that had the green and yellow, and the other stands uh, were with the American flag. But now, every stand has a significant amount of uh, the black, gold, and green. So the Jamaicans are up here enough. Well, you know, they say six to 70,000 fans in this stadium. Well, there's a sign outside that says there are 80,000 Jamaicans inside. I wouldn't have told. <laughs> yeah, but there, there are a large number of Jamaicans, and a large number of the races Jamaica does not compete in. So far, um, I saw Jamaica today in four races. Uh, we won three and came second in one. Well, in the words of Miss Louise Bennett Cloverly, we say, what well, good ambassador. And we wish you all the best, sir. Thank you, sir. Give thanks. Good. Right. Caribbean Lifestyle TV, we are live at the 116th running of the pen relays. And who best to wrap this up with? The governor of this great state, Governor Rendell. Welcome to Caribbean Lifestyle TV, sir. My pleasure. And of course, I was mayor for eight years and went to Penn. So I've been going to the pen relay since I was a college kid. And this is the best ever. Biggest crowd ever. Of course, with Usain Bolt, it took it to a new plateau. And I think Usain Bolt is not from Earth. <laughs> Where's he from? Watching him, he's from another planet, yeah. You know, the, Governor, this, this is the 116th running. This is the 116th running of this Pen Relays uh, event here. Now, Usain Bolt coming to Franklin Field today. I've, I've actually drawn thousands of fans here. Your thoughts on this Pen Relays and Mr. Usain Bolt, the world fastest well, man? He, what's really remarkable is that Usain came here and didn't charge any money. And this is a man who can make hundreds of thousands of dollars for every race he races. He thought enough about the Penn Relays, which is the premier relay event in the world. He thought enough about it that he came here for nothing. And that shows you what he thinks about the Penn Relays. And his presence elevated this. Again, I've been coming since for 40 years, and there's never been a crowd like this. Well, you know, Governor, we know you're a very busy man. We'd like to say thank you very much for stopping by. Well, thanks. And, and, you know, this great state and this great city of Philadelphia comes alive each and every year this time. Mm -hmm. And one more question. The Jamaicans that attend this event, how, talk to the viewing audience of Caribbean Lifestyle TV. What do you think about the Jamaicans coming here and well, supporting this event? First of all, we have a great Jamaican-American community here in Philadelphia. And most of the j people wearing yellow and black were American citizens mm -hmm. of Jamaican descent. And we're very proud of them. They contribute to Philadelphia in so many ways, positive energy. But we also love our Jamaican neighbors. And there's some Jamaican nationals who came up for the event today.